Hello, my dear students. Uh, today is my fantastic day. Hello again. Uh, we, we will go to algebra again. Our uh, first uh, lesson today is forming a quadratic equation with given roots. Let's go to uh, slide one. Forming a quadratic equation with given roots. Okay. Forming a quadratic equation with given roots. Here, Omar asking his teacher, Mona, Miss, I have learned how to solve a quadratic equation, but how can I form a quadratic equation from two given roots? His teacher, Mona, uh, answered, we can form the equation by reversing the process of solving a quadratic equation by the factor method. So, let us enjoy and consider the following example. The example is solve an equation. Equation is x power 2 minus 4x plus 3 equals 0. Now, we factorize this equation, x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 3, and x minus 1 equals 0, or x minus 3 equals 0 also. So, x equals 1, or x equals 3. Yes, my dear students, look concentrately. We have the roots are x equals 1, or x equals 3. We reverse the process now. So, when we return to uh, x will be x minus 1 equals 0, or x minus 3 equals 0, and we multiply the two braces, x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 3, so we form this equation again. Now, let's study the steps of forming a quadratic equation from given roots, 1 and 3 again. Okay, we have x equals 1, and x equals 3, they are the two roots of the quadratic equation. And we would like to form the quadratic equation again. So, x minus 1 equals 0, or x minus 3 equals 0. So, we will form this equation again, x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 3 equals 0. And note these key steps. We have here the two roots, 1 and 3. Look carefully now. Look at 1 and 3. Will be where? Yes. You put x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 3. And the answer equals 0. So you now easily formed the quadratic equation. And if we multiply x by x, it will be x power 2. x times negative 3, it will be negative 3x. Negative 1 multiplied by x equals negative 1x, and the sum equals negative 4x. And negative 1 multiplied by negative 3, the answer will be positive 3. So, the quadratic equation now was, yes, x power 2 minus 4x plus 3 equals 0. We have formed the quadratic equation using the two roots 1 and 3. We put x minus 3 in bracket, and x minus 3 in one other bracket. Yay, yes. If we have roots alpha and beta, I know that uh, you use, uh, to use the letters L and M, it doesn't matter. You have to use all letters. So alpha and beta are the two roots. When you would like to find the quadratic equation, you have to put a bracket x minus alpha multiplied by x minus beta. And they are multiplied each other equal 0. It is a quadratic equation. Yes. Put 1 and 2, the, uh, the two roots here. If the two roots 1 and 2, then the quadratic equation will be x minus 1, which is the first root, and x minus 2, which is the second one. If the two roots are 
0 and negative 4. So, will be x minus 0 and x minus negative 4. We multiplied all of them equal 0. It will be the quadratic equation. If alpha and beta are the two roots of the quadratic equation in x, then the equation will be in general x minus alpha multiplied by x minus beta equals 0. Let's move to the next slide. Follow up questions. In each of the following, form a quadratic equation in x with the given roots and write the equation in the general form. A, we have the two roots, negative 1 and negative 5. B, the two roots are 4 and negative 1 over 3. Look carefully here. The required, the required quadratic equation is we will put x minus the first root, which is negative 1, multiplied by x minus negative 5 equals 0. And we would like to simplify it more. So, negative multiplied by negative 1 equal positive 1, and negative multiplied by negative 5 equal positive 5. So, we have the two brackets, x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 5 equals 0. Here, if we would like to expand it, we multiply x by x, the answer will be x power 2, and x multiplied by 5 equals 5x, then we multiply 1 by, 5, by x, the answer will be x, and 1 multiplied by 5 equals 5, and the answer equals 0. And we would like to simplify it more, so 1x plus 5x will be 6x here, and the resulted quadratic equation will be x power 2 plus 6x plus 5 equals 0. Let's move to the next slide. The required quadratic equation is, yes, we have here x minus 4 and x minus negative 1 over 3, x minus 4 as it is, negative times negative equal positive, so it x plus 1 over 3. We have two roots here, x minus 4 multiplied by x plus 1 over 3. Okay. If we multiply it by 3, all of the, these two sides okay, will be here 3x and 3 multiplied by 1 over 3 equals 1 and 3 multiplied by 0 equals 0. So we have simplest form of this equation, of this bracket. We multiply x by 3x plus 1, so x times 3x equals 3x power 2, x times 1 equals x here, and negative 4 multiply this bracket, negative 4 times 3x equals negative 12x, and negative 4 times 1 will be equals 4. And when we add these two like terms now, we have negative 12x and x, their sum equal negative 11x. So the quadratic equation resulted is 3x power 2 minus 11x minus 4 equals 0. Yes, Omar asked his teacher again. I am trying to form a quadratic equation whose roots are 1 plus root 2 and 1 minus root 2. But in fact, it is too tedious, difficult for me to expand the left hand side of the equation. And he asked his teacher, is uh, she has any other method? And his teacher, Mona, uh, answered again, in fact, there is another method to form a quadratic equation. It helps you form this quadratic equation. Okay, we will see. Using sum and product of roots. Suppose alpha and beta are the two roots of the quadratic equation. Then the equation can be written as x minus alpha multiplied by x minus beta equals zero. 
and by expansion will be x multiplied by x equal x power 2 and x multiplied by negative beta equal negative beta x negative alpha times x negative alpha x negative alpha multiplied by negative beta equals positive alpha beta and the answer of course equals 0 and we have to make x or take x as a common factor here now and negative the common factor also so x power 2 as it is negative x is the common factor and it remains alpha plus beta plus alpha beta equals 0 so concentrate well we have here alpha plus beta what alpha and beta alpha and beta are the two roots of this equation it is the sum of the two roots in fact and alpha beta it's the product of the two roots so concentrate with me there is a sum and this is a product product means times okay so we have the sum here before x and pay attention carefully we have negative here and we have positive here alpha beta which is the product so the new form is x power 2 minus the sum of the roots multiplied by x plus the product of the two roots equals 0 yes using sum and product of roots suppose alpha and beta are the two roots of the quadratic equation then the equation can be written as x power 2 minus sum of the two roots plus product of the two roots equals 0 it's a new and easy form for us okay okay Omar here is happy man now uh, say uh, let's find the quadratic equation whose roots are 1 plus, two, plus root 2 and 1 minus root 2 and we, he will find that will be easy for him to find them he will find the sum of the two roots the sum of two roots equals 1 plus root 2 plus 1 minus root 2 so the answer will be 2 yes it's easy and simple number now more than the first method so he is encouraging us to find the product also the product will be equals 1 multiply 1 equals 1 power 2 and positive root 2 multiplied by negative root 2 equals negative root 2 power 2 so the answer will be 1 minus 2 so the answer will be negative 1 it's also a very simple number okay we have now the sum of the two roots equals 2 and the product of the two roots equals negative 1 so we will applicate the form to the required quadratic equation yes we have x power 2 minus the sum multiplied by x plus the product of the two roots equals 0 yes excellent now we have the method of this uh, quadratic equation we have now x power 2 minus the sum which is 2 plus the product which is negative 1 equals the answer which is 0 yes x power 2 minus 2x minus 1 because positive multiply negative here equals negative 1 equals 0 <coughs> okay follow up questions form a quadratic equation in x whose roots are one of them negative 2 plus square root 2 and the other will be negative 2 plus negative square root 2 write your answer in the general form the sum of these two roots will be easy to find the sum because we have here negative 2 plus negative 2 equals negative 4 and root 2 plus negative root 2 equals 0 so the answer easily will be negative 4 and to find the product or multiply of the two roots we multiply 
these two roots, negative 2 plus root 2, multiplied by negative 2 minus root 2. We multiply negative 2 times negative 2 will be 4. And negative 2 multiplied by negative root 2, it will be positive root 2. Root 2 multiplied by negative root 2 will be negative 2. So the answer will be uh, 4 minus 2. The final answer will be 2. Okay, follow up question. From uh, form a quadratic equation in x whose roots are negative 2 plus root 2 and negative 2 minus root 2. Write your answer in the general form. We will find that sum of the two roots equals negative 4 and their product will be 2. So it's very easy to find that the required quadratic equation will be x power 2 minus the sum which is negative 4 x plus the product which is 2 equals 0. So x power 2 plus 4x equal plus 2 equals 0. Why positive 4? Because negative multiplied by negative 4 equals positive 4. So x power 2 plus 4x plus 2 equals 0. Sum and product of roots. Yes, relations between roots and coefficients. Suppose alpha and beta are the two roots. And as we said, alpha, beta, or LM, they are names of the two roots. So we have to deal with them all. Suppose alpha and beta are the two roots of the equation AX power 2 plus BX plus C equals 0. We can express alpha and plus beta and alpha beta in terms of a b and c so pay attention my dear students now to find out the relation between the sum of the two roots and a b c which are which are the coefficients of x and uh, x power 2 and the absolute term look carefully we have the general we have the general form ax power 2 plus bx plus c equals 0. And we have to make x minus alpha and x minus beta. And my dear students, uh, let us give you a little break. Don't go away. Still with us after three or, or four minutes at last. Okay, hello my students again. We have going to uh, uh, complete our lesson. So concentrate with me to the next slide, please. Okay. We have here AX power 2 plus PX plus C equals 0, which is the general form of the quadratic equation. We have here the coefficient of X power 2 is A, and coefficient of x is b, and the absolute term is c. And we know that x minus alpha multiplied by x minus beta are the two roots, and this is the equation. By multiplying x by x minus beta, and negative alpha multiplied by x minus beta will be have x power 2 minus alpha, alpha x, minus beta x plus alpha beta. And by adding, now we have x power 2 minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta equals 0. Okay, by comparing this, we have here x power 2, here x power 2, and here x power 2. And we have here the coefficient of x now, b over x. And here the coefficient of x equals negative alpha plus beta. 
which is the negative of the sum of the two roots. So, negative sum of the two roots equal b over a, of course. By comparing, yes, the sum will be negative b over a, and the product here will be c over a. Here, alpha beta, which is the product, is c over a. Yes, the sum will be alpha plus beta, and it's b negative b over a. Product of the two roots, alpha beta, equals c over a. Okay? Compare the coefficients, you will find that. Here, negative alpha plus beta equals b over a. So, we will write alpha plus beta equal negative b over a. And alpha beta, which is the product of the two roots, equals c over a. So, for each of the following quadratic equations, find the sum and the product of its roots. We have here 2x power 2 plus 7x equals 0. Yes, we have here 2x power 2 plus 7x plus 0. Then the absolute term equals 0. It doesn't exist here. So equals 0 now. You will find the sum of the two roots equals what? Equals negative b, which is negative 7, over a, which is 2. So the sum of the two roots equals negative 7 over 2. And the product of the two roots equals c, which is 0, over a, which is 2. So the product of roots equals 0 over 2 equals 0. Okay? We have here the second quadratic equation, 3x, power two, uh, 3x minus x power 2 equals 1. And look carefully. We have here x power 2. And its coefficient a equals negative 1. But here we have b, which is a coefficient of x. And absolute term must be go inside the left side will be negative 1. So, it will be x power 2 minus 3x plus minus 1. Yeah, it's wrong. It's minus 1. Okay. Yes, negative x power 2 here and negative, uh, positive 3x minus 1. We multiply them by negative 1. So, the answer will be right answer, which is x power 2 minus 3x plus 1 equals 0. Because it is, uh, uh, it's uh, mentioned that uh, in here is negative one. Uh, it's strong, so we will put here positive number. So the answer will be sum of the roots equals equals what equals negative b, which is negative three, over a, which is one. So the answer will be three, and the product of roots equals c which is 1 over a which is another one equals 1 so my dear students here it's not acceptable to be here negative so we multiply these uh, all these uh, equation by negative 1 to be this answer okay let's move to another slide the question here it is given that the sum of the two roots of x power 2 minus a bracket, yes, it's big one, 3 minus 4k, multiplied by x, minus 6k equals 0. Yes, it is given that the sum of the two roots equal what? Equal negative 9. So alpha plus beta or L plus M, the sum here equal negative 9. Uh, the required, find the value of k. The second one, find the product of the two roots. So look carefully to the answer. Yes, for the equation here, we have here the two roots, the sum of the two roots equals 3 minus 4k. Yes, and it is also equal negative b over a from the original uh, equation. So, it negative multiplied by 3 minus 4k over 1. What is 1? 1 is the coefficient of x power 2. And uh, 
negative times three equal equal uh, negative three. Negative times is negative four equal positive four. But we multiply them by negative to have three minus four k. Yes, negative nine equals three minus four k because we have here negative nine, the sum of the two roots. Making uh, solving the equation, we will get that x k equal three. Uh, it is given that the sum equal negative nine, the same question, but we, we would like to find out the product of the two roots. We know that the product equal c over a, as we mentioned, equals negative six k over one, which is c here, c over a equal negative six k over one, one is the coefficient of x power two, which is a. The answer will be negative six multiplied by k, negative six times three, which is k, equals negative 18, of course. Okay, if alpha and beta are the two roots of the quadratic equation, x power two minus two x minus one equals zero. Find the values of the following expressions. We have here expressions uh, alpha plus beta uh, plus one multiplied by beta plus one. And we know that alpha itself and beta itself are the two roots of the original quadratic equation. And B, we would like to find out alpha power two plus beta power two. So pay attention carefully to us. Here, alpha plus beta, which is the sum of the, this, the root, these two roots, equals negative B over, over A will be two over one, which is two. And alpha beta, which is a product equal C, negative one over A, which is one. So the answer will be negative one. Alpha plus beta, the sum of the two roots of the original equation. And alpha beta is the product of the original equation. And we would like to find out alpha plus beta, alpha plus one multiplied by beta plus one. So to answer A, we have to expand alpha plus one multiplied by beta plus one. Alpha times beta equals alpha beta. Alpha plus times one equals alpha. One times beta equals beta. One times one equals one. And alpha beta here, and beta plus alpha or alpha plus beta will be with each other because they are the product of the original equation, which is two. And alpha beta equals negative one. We will substitute here alpha beta equal negative one, alpha plus beta equals two, and we have to also, two also, so the answer equals two. Yes, move to B, B here, alpha power two plus beta power two. We know that alpha power two plus two alpha beta plus beta power two, it is alpha plus beta all power two. And we add here two alpha beta and we minus here or subtract here two alpha beta to make balance here. Yes, we have the original number alpha power two plus beta power two. For a reason, you will find it that we add two alpha beta here and we subtract it again. So um, we add zero, but we would like to change this figure. Uh, here, alpha power two plus uh, two alpha beta plus beta power two equals, of course, the bracket alpha plus beta all power two here. And we'll keep negative two alpha beta. Why we did that? We did that because we have here alpha plus beta and we haven't alpha power two plus beta power two. They are different. So, to, to subtract here, to uh, 
find out the answer will find out alpha plus beta power 2 will be 2 power 2 minus 2 multiplied alpha beta alpha beta here is negative 1 and the answer will be 5 okay now our uh, student we will go to explain some questions here okay let's start with the first question we know that that the uh, uh, quadratic equation here as this a x power 2 a x power 2 yes plus bx plus c it is a general form of the quadratic equation and let the two roots you would you would like to find it at l not alpha and m not beta it's up to you the two roots here are l and m okay so we know that l plus m equals negative b over a okay and lm which is the product of the two roots equals c over a yes we have here a is a coefficient of x power 2 b is the coefficient of uh, x and c is the absolute term so the sum of the two roots equals negative b we have to converse this uh, sign negative b over a and the product of the two roots here equals c over a okay we have kept that let's move to the next question without solving the quadratic equation uh, 2x power 2 here plus 5x minus okay we have here 2x power 2 plus 5x minus 12 equals 0 it is the equation and we know that a is a coefficient of x power 2 which is 2 this is a and b here is positive 5 and c which is the absolute term equals negative 12 so to find the sum of the two roots l plus m equals negative b over a equals what equals negative b which is negative 5 over 2 and to find the product of them lm equals c over a which is negative 12 over a which is 2 so it's negative 6 and let's move to another one here we have yes we have many questions on sum and product of two equations especially the next question so concentrate and pay attention with me please we have here x equals negative 3 is one of the two roots okay and we have the equation 2x power 2 plus kx minus 3 equals 0 find k and the other root okay we would like to find k the value of k here and the other root we have here two methods in fact the first method will be uh, we will substitute about x equal negative 3 here so 2 multiplied by negative 3 power 2 
plus uh, k multiplied by negative 3 minus 3 equals 0. To solve this equation, we have here 18 minus 3k minus 3 equals 0. And by adding 18 minus 3 equals 15 minus 3k equals 0. And negative 3k equals negative 15 here. By cancelling negative and negative. So 3k equals 15. So k will be equal 15 divided by 3 equals 5. So k equals 5. By substitution here about k, we have the equation again, 2x power 2 plus k is 5. Now, so 5x minus 3 equals 0. And we will try to factorize this equation to two brackets like this. We have 2x power 2 will be 2x multiplied by x and we have here negative 1 multiplied by positive 3 negative 3 will be negative 1 times 3 and 2x here minus 1 equals 0 so x equals half and we have here x plus 3 equals 0 so x equals negative 3 we have a root he gave us the first root will be x equal negative 3. And this is the first, this is x, the first root x equal negative 3. Then where is the other root? The other root will be equals half. So the other root equal half and k here equals 5. So we have answered the question now. Let's move the, to the next method. For solve, for solve the, so the same uh, equation. Okay. We have two methods. Uh, uh, as you know, my dear students, that uh, we must have many uh, solutions for the same question. Um, not all the time, but uh, uh, it's better to find out the equation or solving equation by more than one method. So concentrate with me now. We have x equals negative 3. It is the first root for the equation 2x power 2 plus kx minus 3 equals 0. And we will find out another method. We know that the sum of the two roots here equal negative b over a and the product equals c over a. So, the product Lm equal, equal what? Equal C over A. This is A and B and C. C over A equal negative 3 over 2. And the sum L plus M here equals uh, negative B over A, which is negative K over 2. And we know that uh, one of the roots equal negative 3. So if we put negative 3 instead of L here and here, so negative 3 multiplied by M equal negative 3 over 2. So M equals negative 3 over 2 divided by negative 3 and M will be half. Now we have the other root, m equals half. And one of the two roots here, which is l, here l equals negative 3. Okay? The sum of the two roots here, l plus m, will be negative 3, which is the first one, and half, which is the next one, equals what? Equals negative b over a negative b here equals negative k over a which is 2 and we would like to find 
k here. Okay, we have here negative 2.5 equals negative k over 2. So we cancel negative with negative. k over 2 here equals 2.5. k equals 2.5 multiplied by 2. So k equals 5. Okay, here k equals 5. And we have found the second root, which is half. It is the second method to solve this, solu uh, this uh, question, which is if we have x equal to 3, it's the first root of the equation 2x power 2 plus kx minus 3 equals 0. Find out or find the first root, second root and the value of k. Okay. Let's move to another question here. Yes. We have two roots here, or one of the two roots is 1 plus 2 root 2i. It is a complex root. Yes. If we have 1 plus root 2i, one of the two roots of the equation x power 2 minus 2x plus c equals 0. This is the first root, which is complex root. 1 plus root 2i is a root of x power 2 minus 2x plus c equals 0. So, we know that if we have two complex roots for the quadratic equation, they will be conjugate. What is the meaning of conjugate? If we have root here, 1 plus root 2i, then the other root will be 1 minus root 2i. It's very easy for you. Because they are complex. The two roots must be conjugate to each other. Well, what uh, what mean, meant of that? We have plus here. We'll convert it to negative or minus. And minus here, convert it to plus. So the other root will be 1 minus root 2i. Now we have the two roots. Okay, um, value of C, which is C? C here is the is place of C. And uh, we, have, we know that the product of the two roots, Lm or alpha beta, equal C over A. Here, equal C over 1, because C here is C, and coefficient of export 2 is 1. So equal C. So Lm equal C. What is Lm? Lm is the product of the two roots. And we have the two roots here. Uh, Lm equals now 1 plus root 2i multiplied by 1 minus 2 root 2i. And we'll be easily find the product. We have 1 times 1 here equals 1. And root 2i multiplied by negative root 2i equals negative 2i power 2. And concentrate well and pay attention to i power 2. We know that i power 2 equals negative 1. So the answer will be 1 minus 2 multiplied by negative 1 and instead of i power 2 here. So the answer will be 1 negative 2 times negative 1 equals positive 2. So the final answer will be 3. Okay. What is a 3? 3 is the product of the two roots here. Okay. Lm equals 3. And we, here, we have here Lm equals C. So C will be 3. Okay. We have found C now equals 3. Let's move to another question, my dear students. We have um, a question which is find k. Find k if one of the two roots is the additive inverse of the other. What's the meaning of 
one of the two roots is the additive inverse of the other. That means if the first root will L, the second root will be negative L. So their sum will be equal zero. So if we have two roots, one of them is the additive inverse of the other, then, then their sum will be zero. Okay? We have the quadratic equation which is 3x power 2 plus k minus 3 multiplied by x plus 7 equals 0. We would like to find what? We would like to find k. k here is unknown. And we would like to find it here. And we have a very important information which is one of the two roots is the additive inverse of the other, which means sum equals zero. What is the sum of two roots here? The sum, of course, equals negative b over a. Where is negative b? Negative b is the negative of this part. So negative k minus 3 over a, which is a, which is what? 3. The sum here equals 0. And we know if a fraction here equals 0, we cannot say that the denominator equals 0. It's wrong. But the numerator only here equals 0. So negative k minus 3 equals 0. Negative multiplied by negative here, so k minus 3 equals 0, and k equals 3 because we transfer negative 3 in the other side, so k will be 3. Yes, it's very easy. The question is find k in this equation. If what? If the sum of the two roots, uh, if the one of the two roots equals the additive inverse of the other, you will deduce easily that the sum equals 0. And you will find out the sum here. Sum equals negative b over a, which is negative k minus 3 over 3. And we equalize it by 0. We have uh, found that it is very easy equation now and easy to find the value of k. Okay, let's move to another question. All of them are easy questions for you because you are intelligent and smart students. So let's write the next question, my dear students. Yes, we have here, we would like to find k. k is here is unknown. And the two roots, one of them is the multiplicative inverse of the other. If one root, say L, and the other is the multiplicative of it, so will be 1 over L, okay? And L multiplied by 1 over L will be 1, because the product equals 1, because one of them is the uh, multiplicative inverse of the other. And we want to find K. Where is K? K in the equation, which is 2K x power 2, plus 7x plus k power 2 plus 1 equals 0 here. Okay, it's clear now. Where is a? a here is 2k and b is 7 and c all of this number, k power 2 plus 1. So, we will find out the sum, the product of the two roots. Product here equals what? Equals 1. What is the product here? The product is C over A. What is C? C is K power 2 plus 1 over C over A equal to equals 1. And you will multiply 2 by 1 and the answer will be K power 2 plus 1 equals 2 times 1 equal 2 and k power 2 equals 2 minus 1 and k power 2 equals 1 and by taking the uh, square root for the two sides 
here will be what? Will be k will be positive or negative one. Okay, we have finished now this question, and by finishing this question, my dear students, uh, it's for me a happy day, and I'd like to be happy for you again. Um, I would like to thank the wonderful team in um, Studio 12 and uh, in EEC Educational Egyptian channel. And thank you for watching, and good luck. Goodbye. Thank you.